Is video game disorder real? Do you play video games intensely and are addicted to it? If so, you may have video game disorder. What is this exactly? Does it actually exist? And what can you do to remedy it? That's what we're talking about in today's video. So hello everyone. My name is Autumn Asphodel and I am a coach to help you live your best life. And today we're talking about video games and video game disorder. So enjoy the video. Video games have become more and more accessible over the decades with portable consoles and phones allowing you to play on the go at any time. That may cause some people to use video games as an outlet, which can be good to a degree, but also can turn bad when addiction sets in. So is video game disorder real? Can you be addicted to video games? The answer is yes, of course. Addiction can take many forms, and video games is one of the outlets people use for entertainment that they can become addicted to. However, there is a much deeper issue that can arise from playing video games too much. First, let's discuss the addiction aspect. Anything can be addictive. The whole premise of addiction is that someone finds a coping mechanism for their negative emotions and depression. This outlet becomes a crutch the more times it's used as the person becomes dependent on it to fulfill them. They may feel better temporarily by doing the activity, but the sadness creeps back in, causing a vicious cycle. They turn to external stimulation to remedy the problem within them without actually addressing the real issues within them that is causing the behavior. So video games are a very big part of many people's lives, especially as it continues to grow and advance with better graphics, more immersion. A lot of people use it as a form of entertainment to take away the stress of the day-to-day -day life, going to work all day, all the stress and anxiety and sadness that may build up from that, it allows you to have an outlet. There's nothing wrong with that. The problem though is if you're addicted to it, if you're constantly on it, constantly using it as an escape method. Addiction can take many forms and video games is just one of the ways that addiction can take place. Video games can become someone's outlet that they become addicted to. They use it as a means to escape their sadness and depression and immerse themselves within a fantasy world that they are playing as a character they are not, whom they may look up to. There's nothing wrong with playing a game to alleviate stress and to distract yourself from the sh in the short term, but chronic abuse by overplaying, where one's world becomes consumed by games and their money goes all towards games, then it's a problem. It can even be so bad for some people that they keep buying games since it gives them that rush of euphoria to own a new game and play. Yet, that new feeling gets old really fast and the cycle continues. Another aspect is when someone becomes so consumed by video games that they begin to lose their sense of self and fantasy and reality begin to blur. They may want to escape from their reality and become the character in their game. Fantasy and re reality may begin to blur as they begin to think they are their game character and they lose their sense of self. So if you know someone or are someone who is absorbed by the world of video games over the real world because fantasy feels better than the real world, then video game disorder could be the reason. If you know someone or are someone who spends all their time and money on games, then video game disorder could be the reason. The real question then is, what can you do about it? There is nothing wrong with video games. They can be entertaining and even educational, but you have to know where to draw the line and recognize the problems they may be causing you. If you feel like you were addicted to them because you were constantly absorbed by games and spending all your time and money on them, even ignoring your real world friends outside the game, then it's time to get help. There may be some deep rooted issues that are causing this behavior and these need to be addressed. Once they are, you will find that you no longer feel the need to escape and use gaming as a crutch. Instead, you may enjoy it from time to time in a reasonable manner. Video game addiction is very real. It can cause a multitude of issues ranging from the inability to make friends and connect with people as your real self, 
fantasy and reality may blur, and your finances may be hurting from all the money you are spending. Regardless, if you are addicted, there is a way of remedying this, which starts with you being confident with the person you are. You are not your gaming avatar, but someone much better, with real memories and emotions. Learn from your past and strive to be the best version of yourself, and you will be successful and happy. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. So I have been a big fan of video games ever since I've been younger. I've been a gamer ever since I was probably around the age of five or so. Ever since then, I've played many, many games. I've owned a huge collection of games and I'm still playing games to this day, including brand new ones. And I have a gaming channel. I stream live. Asphodel Gaming. I record the streams, I post them online. Asphodel Gaming, if you have not followed me yet, you better be following me. I know when that limit is. I used to play games much more in the past, so much to the point where I wanted to escape from my reality. And I would think if I could only be that character in the video game, I wouldn't have to deal with the stress of my day-to-day -day life. If I could just be that character, but that's not how life works. You are not that character in the game. You cannot use video games as a form of constantly escaping your reality. You can't be so immersed in VR, in virtual reality, in the video game world, and think that you are the character because you are not. You have a life outside the video games. And if you're neglecting your friends, your family, to just go play some video games, then that is a problem that needs to be addressed. So be sure to address it so you can get into contact with your true self, your family and friends, and be happy. Be sure to check out the amazing merchandise over at Asphodel Shop for some amazing, inspiring designs. Also become a member to get early access to new content weeks and months before it is available to the public. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning into this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know some of your favorite games as well. I really want to hear your favorite games and come and join me over on Asphodel Gaming. I'm really, really excited to see you there as we relive some of my childhood with all the amazing games and we play some new games too. It's not just old games, we play a variety of different games, but come and join. I love, I love playing the games and I'll see you again very soon. You take care, bye-bye.